This is Salmon Creek, north of Bodega Bay, where hundreds of Native Americans lived thousands of years ago, right over there. The Salmon Creek is north of Bodega, the town of Bodega, which we'll go take a look at real soon. That's the site where in the 1960s, Alfred Hitchcock shot that famous movie called The Birds. The mystery of the site is that very few remnants of the people that lived here still exist. However, modern people who have homes along the estuary here, along the, the creek, occasionally have picked up mortars, pestles, other types of implements done by, made by the Native Americans in the region. And that's the only indication that people actually lived here. One kind of wonders what's going to be here after the first earthquake hits this region and decimates most of the homes within the area will be as mysterious as the people who once lived right over there. Salmon Creek flows into the Pacific. Let's get past our 21st century perspective. Why would people live on a creek near an ocean? Well, there's a lot of food there. There's lots of uh, fowl, there's lots of fish, lots of seashells, and then you have the ocean where there's gigantic diff different types of fish, large fish they would canoe out into the ocean and capture some wonderful, wonderful food stuff. So this is a, a bountiful region once you understand the resources that are here. But yet today there's nothing there, nothing at all, just the remnants. Perhaps you find a, uh, as I said, a pestle or a mortar, or maybe you even find uh, some arrowheads or spear points, and that's about it. There's no foundation stones, nothing of the sort, of course, they didn't do that. And that's what's kind of curious, that is, they lived here for such a long time, apparently, uh, unnoticed by other tribes, and they had a relatively good life here. The living was easy in California, in fact, it was the ancient California dream. So by having perspective of the ancients, we can learn a lot from them. We can learn how they survived, we can learn what they did, and with respect to our culture, Unfortunately, uh, given the materials that we build with, given the recyclability of the materials that we have since at least the 1970s, there won't be much for people to look at in the future. So we really need to, to take stock of what we have, enjoy it, but also recognize that there were people living here a very, very long time ago who were extraordinarily successful in their environs. What's intriguing is that every year these people trekked out about 16 miles south of here to a place called Two Rocks. Two Rocks is basically a large set of two rocks set up on top of a hill. Natural, natural glacial erratics as they're called. But they would trek 60 miles south, find that pathway and go right through the center and walk into the Sierra Mountains. Long trek, but it's something they did every year. There's suspicion that there was also a vision quest involved here, where they would go seeking for some type of higher spirituality. Quite mysterious, the mysterious trek. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a like, and do subscribe to the channel by pressing the button below. Until next time, Sal Trento with Mysterious Places.